everybody, and welcome to Love Life Mini Chef World Cup 2017 final ranking. I'm Debbie, and I manage a website called Kawaii no Tomorachi. This year, we were the organizers of this content. The rules were pretty simple. You just have to create something that is edible, and that is around the Love Life universe. We have a total of 13 winners and 5 staff picks. Without further ado, let's get started with the ranking. In the 13th position, we have Storichi with a beautiful lily white fruit and jello parfait. It's full of strawberries and blueberries and it's sweet and pure like red and white. I really love that this entry is a bit different from the others because they went for a drink. The result ended up being very colorful and you can really see the different layers for all the girls in lily white. I definitely want to try to drink it. In 12th position, we have a really, really impressive entry from Rivenga. They didn't make just one dish but they make nine different dishes. For Sharon's, there is three different appetizers. For Yo, we have a mini Salisbury steak on top of some bread with some parmesan cheese. For Ruby, we have a simple quiche with potatoes, onions, and cheese. And for Chica, we have a tangerine jelly with some cream cheese on top of bread. All of the appetizers look so delicious, but let's move on to the next subunit. For Azalea, we have three drinks. Anamanu gets an infusion of cinnamon, cloves, peppers, and cranberry. For Daya, a frappe with lots of ice, vanilla, cinnamon, sugar, milk, and caramel liqueur. Finally, for Canon, we have cucumber, serena pepper, salt, lime, and white tequila. And the final three dishes by Rivenka are for Guilty Kids. Rico got a vanilla mousse, peach gelé, vanilla genoise, and vanilla cookie. For Johanna, we have a chocolate mousse, strawberry gelé, chocolate genoise, and vanilla and hazelnut cookie. For Marie, we have a coffee mousse, cherry gelé, lemon genoise, and lemon cookie. I am super impressed with this entry. There is a lot of work that has been done. Nine different things, and all of them are very sophisticated. I really want to try them all. For number 11, we have Cotonian, who worked for something very simple, Maruchan Ramen. In 10th position, we have Milky Daydream, who made a very interesting white rice smoothie, which is something that we see in the Love Life movie. I would really love to try it. In number 9, we have a beautiful entry. I really love this one. It was one of the first ones that was submitted. It's a crepe made in the shape of a UR envelope. It's made with frosting, whipped cream, some sprinkles on top, and a big strawberry in the middle. I really love UR envelopes, and I think everybody does. So how can you not love this entry? Next entry in position number 8 is by Quill, who made a beautiful little cake with aqua at the beach. I think it really represents the aqua girls who live in Numatsu, which is really close to the sea. Seeing them play in the water like that, I really love this. It's just, it's just adorable, and the cake looks delicious as well. I really want to try it. Let's take a short break in the middle of our ranking and move on to the staff picks. In third position for the staff picks, we actually have three different winners who got the same number of points. Miss made a very nice two layer cake, which represents news and aqua, and they all have their image icon. I really love the pastel colors on this too. The final cake looks really delicious. Again, in third position, we have Rivenga with the three appetizer, three drinks, and three desserts that I showed you earlier. Also in third position, we have Quill with the beautiful cake with aqua at the beach which was also in the ranking. In second position for the staff pick, we have Matai Kaiko with a UR inspired cake. The cake is three layers, one pink, one blue, and one yellow, and they all correspond to Yohane, Hanamaru, and Ruby. I think this cake is really beautiful. Again, I really love the UR envelope and the little details that are extracted from the UR envelope to put them on the cake. I mean, I recognized it right away. I really love it. This cake is really beautiful. And in first position for the staff pick, we have Taylor Brunari. This entry is really impressive and I really understand why the staff members voted for it. We have the nine image icons for news and nine image icons for aqua. But that's not it. We also have the four envelopes, R, SR, SSR, and UR, all made out of cookies. These cookies look so beautiful. It's hard to imagine that they're edible, but they actually are. This is really amazing. I really want to try them, but at the same time, they're really too pretty to eat, right? Next is number 7. Not sure how to pronounce that name, M-T-C-H, so let's say Mitch, I'm not sure. Uh, but another very impressive entry, for so this one we actually have a cheesecake topped with three different desserts. For Yohane we have chocolate donuts, for Chica we have vegan cream puffs, and for Daya we have plan. The illustrations on top are made of chocolate and they're from the Matsuri Cafe event. I really love how detailed the characters are. All made by hand, they really look beautiful. It's basically four desserts in one, that's crazy. 
In sixth position, we have Miyagi, and this was actually the very first entry that was submitted. Rings, crunchy, ramen, Oreo bowls. And yeah, you heard me right. Ramen. There is ramen inside Oreo bowls. At first, I was a bit confused. Do you put ramen inside Oreo bowls? You want to think about it. That crunchy touch inside the chocolate bowl? That sounds delicious. I really want to try that. Number five. Number five is seriously an amazing and very impressive entry. From Kotomyan again, which was also in the ranking at position number 10, had ramen. But this time, this entry is very, very elaborate. There's a whole story behind it, and I really, really recommend you to go ahead and read the original post. We have a Fabergé egg with Ellie inside on top of a beautiful blueberry cake. And I love all the details on top, and I love how the egg itself is just positioned in a way that just stands on top of the cake. That's really impressive. I don't even know how they managed to get it to stay like that. The cake itself is layered and the inside looks really delicious. There's actually a lot of symbolism behind this whole cake. Kotonyan really took a lot of time to think about it and come up with something that really represents Ellie. Really, truly really impressive entry. Number four, we're getting closer to the winner. Number four is Yina Execution. We didn't make one dish, but two different dishes. The special Kurosawa sweet lunch combo. There is one dish for Daya and one dish for Ruby. The dish for Daya is a savory dish. It's a traditional Japanese curry with a sweet touch. There is honey inside. And for Ruby, we have a layered cake with lots of strawberries inside. This looks really delicious and I really love how they decided to make something savory and something sweet. I would love to get that for lunch, actually. In number three, we have Bee Jacks, I believe that's how you pronounce it, with the Oishi Yosoba. Yosoro! This dish is also something that you see in the TV show. In episode 10 of Love by Sunshine season 1, Yo makes a yakisoba herself and she names it Yokisoba. In this version, the yakisoba noodles are topped with onions, green onions, bell peppers, carrots, and cabbage. The final dish looks really delicious, and the little flag on top is really a nice touch. I love it! Number 2! Our second winner is Monica. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Monica made 7 different cupcakes for our favorite fallen angel, Johanne. These cupcakes have a lot of details, and you can really see Johanne's influence of them. Like, you don't even have to read the description. You know that these cupcakes are about Johanne. I love cupcakes, I love Johanne, I love this! And our number 1 final winner of the Love Life Mini Chef World Cup 2017 is Taylor Granary, which was also the number one staff pick. This entry got a lot of attention, with a total of 383 likes. And how can you not love it? I mean, look at all these cookies. Look at all the tiny details. Look at this small and cute Mizumi that looks at you. This entry is seriously amazing. That was our first winner. Congratulations, Sailor Bernari. Congratulations to all of the winners and congratulations to all of the participants. The number of entries we received and the high quality of every single entry that we got really blew my mind. You guys really worked hard on this. Everything looks so beautiful, everything looks so delicious. It was so hard when I had to pick a winner for the staff picks. And everybody said the same thing actually in the chat when I asked people to pick their favorite. All the staff members were like, I can't, Debbie. They all look so delicious. I want to try them all. How can I just pick one? I will send out the prizes as soon as possible. You will get them in the mail. Again, congratulations to all of you. I am so happy and proud that we organized this contest this year. I really hope that next year we'll organize it again. Hopefully next year we'll take more time in advance to organize it and maybe work more with the other communities. Our goal with this contest was to open it more because usually our giveaways are just for our school also matching members. But for this one, we wanted it to be for the whole Love Life community. So we decided to open it to everybody in the community, even people who don't really use Kola Tumunachi often. We really wanted every single Love Life fan to get a chance to share cooking skills and, and win our contest. Let us know in the comments what's your opinion on this contest, if you liked it, if you enjoyed it. If you have any feedback for us, we really want to know, we really want to improve it. This is the end of the video. I know I don't post videos very often, but our whole staff team is really active on Twitter. So if you want to follow us there to get news about Love Life, news about Squirrel Tomachi, or even news about our community and how amazing and talented our community is, follow us on Twitter, join Squirrel Tomachi. It's a really cool social network for people who love Love Life. They post cosplay, they post drawings, they post amazing things. I really recommend you to join. That's it for today. See you soon. Bye.